Hi, I'm Christian Herman from the University of Texas at Arlington's Rover Team, alternatively known as the Texas Mars Robotics Team. This year, we've developed a six-wheeled rover for the exploration of a Mars-like environment. On this rover, we have a complex robotic arm, an inbuilt computational system, and a terrain traversal system. In this video, we will be showing you how we created it, what it does, and a little bit about our team. This year's rover was built with simplicity in mind. Of course, there is the issue of weight for the URC, and we have kept that in mind to produce a lightweight but robust design. From top to bottom, the suspension has been redesigned to be modular, facilitating quick and easy assembly and disassembly. Our arm design has been improved to be sturdier with a higher level of performance and a wider range of application. A previous sample return module design has served us well, and we have since improved it to be more lightweight as well. The 2019 rover has received a complete redesign for the body and suspension systems this year. The main goals since the early stages of development have been to reduce weight, operational vibration, and increase modularity. The size of the body itself has been reduced by about 65% with all the components having a quick attachment to the casing for our new gear differential. We have changed the suspension setup to a true rocker bogey system that gives us a traversability of about 20 inches. All the legs are made of aluminum and we've used aluminum tubing where we can to reduce weight. The new staggered wheel design gives us better stability while climbing and the centered wheel mounts reduce stress on the joints. One of the components we're most excited about this year is our new compliant tire design. They're currently being 3D printed by our newest sponsor, Big Rep, who specializes in large scale 3D printing. The new tires play a large role in dampening the vibrations on the system and improving traction in the desert terrain. The material has been thoroughly tested to stand up against thermal fatigue and the abrasive forces that we will face in competition. For the arm, we've made numerous improvements in control, stability, and versatility. By using advanced engineering dynamics to develop a new cutting edge technology, we have revolutionized the arm's motion. The overall structure of the arm has also changed dramatically. The new five axis build promises dexterity, feedback, and in turn, more control. New gripper designs promise to not only pick up objects, but to use them like we do. Our team members have been working tirelessly researching, analyzing, designing, and manufacturing parts to keep us in the competitive edge. Hi, I'm Christina Wolf, and I am the Grip of Life team lead for the Mars rover team at UTA. This year we'll be testing for vital macronutrients in the soil using onboard instrumentation and indicator test strips like this right here. We'll be looking for phosphorus, nitrate, and pH. Our team's science module has been a reliable system in years past. Our drill is capable of a sample depth of 7 inches, and we can accommodate up to 6 different samples for 6 different sites at the competition. With our science team's new method of determination of life, our partition bin was revised so that it can be easily seen from our camera view. This revision allows the pH, glucose, and nitrate tests to be better read so that the conclusions that the proof of life team makes about the terrain, soil, and rocks are more accurate. For this URC 2019 season, our controls team is focused mainly on quality of life improvements, efficiency, and compactness of design. One way we're implementing these features is by reducing our footprint to a 10 inch by 7 inch by 5 inch housing. For this year's competition, we're using a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna. That allows us to communicate up to two kilometers away from our base station to our rover's onboard server. The server is then responsible for distributing that user data to the multiprocessor system spread throughout our rover. It then takes on the role of ensuring that that sensor data is protected, stable, and correct as it's passed back to the user. As a closing statement, Although we have been hyper-focused this year on developing a brand new system that is remarkable in its capabilities, we've also retained our functional system from last year as backup in case any failures or catastrophes occur. Additionally, between now and competition, we will be developing brand new systems such as plantable signal relays, a more capable arm with another link, and a more advanced and lightweight sample return system. Thank you.